Okay. This crazy son of a bitch? Virgil Edwards. The Shepherd. Leader of a sect called the Seventh Generation, who believe mankind's about to face its final reckoning. A sadist with a silver tongue, who's been gathering lost souls from far and wide, promising eternal salvation. He's gone to ground, hasn't been seen in months, but folk been saying he's put out a call to arms for some kind of mass cleansing of sin. Groups of his followers are camped out in Roanoke Ridge, north of Annisburg, waiting for their shepherd to appear and show them the way. Maybe one of them has some information that'll lead you to him, so he can face his own reckoning. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the five-star solo legendary bounty, Shepherd Virgil Edwards. I'm going to pop back in a couple times just to give you some hints and tips. As always, I like to start off by taking a couple tonics as these NPCs do pack a punch. And just as a reminder, you're going to be doing this in free aim. When you first start this bounty up, there are going to be three different camps that you need to search. Sometimes you'll need to search all three and sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll actually discover where... Um, Virgil is on at the very first camp. So there's two locations once you get the note and you'll either be going to the loft or you'll be going to the caves. Uh, and it is going to be a little bit different depending on which one you go to. I personally find the caves to be a little bit easier and the loft a little bit trickier. Um, but we'll go ahead and still do some tips based off the location we get. So I will check back in with you guys shortly. Who has my note? Okay, so one thing you'll notice that's a little bit different about this bounty is that some of the NPCs are going to be shooting arrows at you and some of them are actually going to be throwing tomahawks. You do need to be really careful about the tomahawks as they'll take a lot of your health, especially if you're up close. I do find that diving uh, works really well to get out of the way of that. When you're out in the open like this, I do recommend keeping your distance and using a sniper or here I'm just using my bolt action to try to get some headshots. I'm using paint it black when I need it. As we go down around the corner here, we're going to go into this cave uh, where the person is that we need to loot to try to find the letter to find Virgil Edwards. So here I'm going to use my shotgun for the most part and sometimes my revolvers for those up close shots. Again, using paint it black just to get rid of bloom when I need it to make sure that I'm marking the target and it'll just be a little bit easier to clear these out. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so once you shoot the cultist that has the letter, they'll actually show up as a yellow marker and then it'll say loot the cultist. And here you can see we loot them and it says Shepherd Virgil Edwards note. You don't actually have to go to your satchel and read this. It's gonna give you a little note on the bottom as to where to go and it'll have a yellow marker. And so in this case, we are actually gonna be going to the caves. Uh, and so what you wanna do is just start riding in that direction. You'll probably run into some NPCs I actually don't hear just because I'm riding so fast, but if you're slow to get going or you stop to do something, they're going to catch up to you. And a lot of them are going to be shooting the arrows. So it's just something you want to keep in mind. Um, I find it best to try to just ride as quickly as I can to the next uh, target. That way I'm not having to really deal with as many NPCs. Right. 
All right, when you get to the cave, there'll be just a couple people standing outside. You can take them out pretty easily. You do wanna be a little bit cautious heading to the caves at first because there is one NPC really early on that has a machete um, and he will come out and just one shot kill you. So you just wanna be a little bit cautious, kind of go in a little bit and wait for him to start running toward you, keep him back up, make sure you paint him and kill him right away. Uh, as you get further into the cave, just keep in mind there's going to be people throwing tomahawks, there's going to be people with bow and arrows, so you just want to take your time and take out each enemy. Don't just rush in there because you'll get overwhelmed. Uh, when you get down to the bottom, that's where Virgil Edwards is going to be. Keep in mind he's wearing that armor, so it is going to take a lot of shots. Uh, I do find the Evans Repeater super helpful just because it's got 26 shots in it, and so I will just hit them over and over and over again. Sometimes I'll throw um, dynamite, which I didn't do this time. Sometimes I'll switch to the shotgun, which I think I did do a little bit here. So you just wanna try to keep your distance, back away when you need to take a tonic if your health's getting low, and then just keep hitting him shot after shot until he falls to his knees. To rest, the goddess with her sheep of light found a humble man who led, a mighty force of awakened souls whom alone possess no might. But when stood behind their shepherd, yes, we sent them. Uh, uh, an awakened vermin. So it is you and me. You will not stop us. Okay, so here's another spot where you need to be a little bit cautious. In the cave version, this is the part I found the trickiest, just because trying to get Virgil out of the cave, um, there are going to be a lot of NPCs coming at you, and the ones with the tomahawks, again, it takes one or two of those, um, and they're going to take your health all the way down. So again, just take your time here. Um, take out, Try to take out some of the enemies. Pick him up, move a little bit further. If you need to drop him again and take out some more NPCs, go ahead and do that. And then just keep in mind as you get to the entrance of the cave, same thing. There's going to be a bunch of NPCs out there, some with arrows, some with tomahawks, some shooting guns. So if you hold on to him, remember you're just going to have the one weapon in your hand, which you can definitely do. Um, definitely go for those headshots um, or drop him and switch to your other weapons to try to take them out as well. Because again, it's very easy to get overwhelmed at this point.
Okay, once you take out those NPCs at the cave entrance, call your horse, load them up, and start riding toward either the jail or the prison wagon. In this case, it's going to take you to Annisburg. Now, I've done this bounty probably four or five times, and I have not found that NPCs come after you. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm riding very quickly on a really good horse, or it's just not written into this particular bounty, because usually that's when I find uh, when you're riding, either if they break free, um, or just you're going kind of slow. If the NPCs catch up to you, that is when it gets insane, because you just have just wave after wave of NPC, you're trying to shoot them free aim, you're trying not to kill the bounty. Um, if he broke free, you're trying to, you know, re-get him tied up. So just ride as fast as you can, and you shouldn't encounter anybody at this point. Um, this run actually went fairly smooth. Um, just keep in mind every variation or every time you do it, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, sometimes there's more NPCs, sometimes it's just a little tougher to get in there. Um, again, the loft is the trickier of the two just because it's wide open. So take your time, try to snipe some of those enemies to thin them out, but keep an eye on your surroundings because some of the guys do sneak up on you. Um, and if they have the machete or the tomahawk, like they're going to one hit you and you're going to die and you might die sometimes. That's okay. You can see it is definitely very possible to do this bounty five star solo. But if you're someone like myself who struggles a little bit with free aim, you just want to take your time. And if you take your time and you stay back and you use tonics, you should be able to complete it with no problems. Ah, there it is. Here I return. I'm glad you brought them in alive. They're going to stand trial. There's your money. Okay, there you have it, bounty complete with a pretty decent payout of $174, 0.42 gold, and 1850 XP. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you noticed anything that I didn't cover, please leave a comment below. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.